an enormous convective storm brewing in the Great White Spot, a ring system more extensive than any other, otherworldly ice and lakes, a gas giant nearly 100 times the mass of Earth, the planet Saturn has remained mostly a mystery. But we are closer than ever to learning its secrets thanks to the Cassini-Huygens spacecraft missions. Cassini never ceases to amaze me. Uh, you know, not a week goes by when uh, some sort of discovery comes out that really is a head turner. Cassini is going to be remembered scientifically as one of the major highlight of the early stage of space exploration. The Cassini-Huygens spacecraft mission began studying Saturn and its moons in 2004. Given the excellent condition of the orbiter, the mission was extended twice. Some of the most significant things we've learned about Saturn and its moons have to do with the fact that Cassini has been there like a resident in the Saturn system. Cassini showed the value of a, of a system, an a observational system with uh, 18 science instruments. The current Solstice mission is the most ambitious of its kind. As we orbit the planet and we look at its structure in great detail and we see how it changes as it orbits the sun and it has its own seasons. Uh, the details that we get out of that are just so unbelievable. You can't do that in any other way but be there up close and personal. We found uh, plumes on Enceladus. We found a very Earth-like surface on Titan. And so we've basically opened a whole new chapter or a whole new book, if you will, on the Saturn system. In 2005, the Huygens probe pushed through Titan's dense atmosphere and completed the first ever landing in the outer solar system. When you think about looking at Titan as early Earth, that means we have a glimpse of the Earth's history by going back in time. And, and that's very hard to do any other way. But Cassini and, and the Huygens probe has really given us that opportunity. Through September 2017, Cassini will continue to explore, measure, and unlock a world of mysteries. It's mind-boggling in a sense. I mean, it's really a credit to the team which built Cassini and the credit to the team that is operating Cassini now. I mean, having a spacecraft which after seven years of, of getting there and was planned for four or five years for a mission, and here we are eight years downstream and probably, uh, clearly reflects on the care with which people have designed that mission and developed that mission. And we're seeing the big scientific payoff you know, from it. We've had no avionics chip failures or part failures in Cassini. And it's, it's been going for uh, probably 125, 135,000 hours of uh, continuous operation and there has been no piece part failures. And we're really looking forward to having it last many more years. Now this turns out to be extremely important to us because it takes about 30 years for Saturn to go around the sun. And we hope for it to be able to last till 2015, or 2017 rather. And that's important because we'll then get to see the seasonal changes at Saturn. When the Cassini mission ends, I think we'll be on one hand sad about its end, but also on the other hand, we will be celebrating the accomplishment, you know, that that mission has accomplished 